He was 25 years old. He combed his hair like James Dean. He was very fastidious. People who littered bothered him. She was 15. She took music lessons and could twirl a baton. I'm kid. I'm not keeping you from anything important, am I? No. She wasn't very popular at school. For a while, they lived together in a treehouse. In 1959, they murdered a lot of people. Of course, I had to keep all this a secret from my dad. He would have had a fit since Kit was 10 years older than me and came from the wrong side of the track, so-called. I don't want you to hang around anymore. I don't want to see you again. Understand? Then, sure enough, Dad found out I'd been running around behind his back. He was madder than I'd ever seen him. He made me take extra music lessons every day after school and wait there till he came to pick me up. He said that if the piano didn't keep me off the streets, maybe the clarinet would. My girl Holly and I decided to kill ourselves, same way I did her dad. Nobody's coming out of this thing happy, especially not us. I can't deny we've had fun, though. We hid out in the wilderness, down by a river in a grove of cottonwoods. It being the flood season, we built our house in the trees. We planned a huge network of tunnels under the forest floor, and our first order of business every morning was to decide on a new password. He gave me lectures on how a gun works, how to take it apart and put it back together again in case I had to carry on without him. He said that if the devil came at me, I could shoot him with a gun. Hey. Listen to your parents and teachers. They got a line on most things, so don't treat them like enemies. There's always an outside chance you can learn something. Try to keep an open mind. Try to understand the viewpoints of others. I think I got them. I don't know. Well, I'm not going down there and look. Consider the minority opinion. But try to get along with the majority of opinion once it's accepted. Of course, Holly and I have had fun, even if it has been rushed. So far, we're doing fine. Hadn't got caught. Excuse the grammar. Hey, everyone. This is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And it's been a while since I did a movie review. The last film I reviewed was Bullet Train, which that was an awesome film. Really loved it. And I didn't do a SmackDown review uh, last night because you know, I was working late. So, but didn't get a chance to do it. And before I get into uh, the review, if you guys haven't checked out my previous video, which was my AEW Grand Slam vlog, definitely go check it out. Had a fun time on Wednesday and out at Arthur Air Stadium for uh, AEW Grand Slam. So be sure to check out my vlog of that if you guys haven't seen it. It's a previous video, like I said. But now on to the review. The movie review of a film called Badlands, which came out in 1973. And the film stars Martin Sheen, Sissy Spacek, and Warren Oates. The film was written, produced, and directed by Terrence Malick. And I haven't seen uh, films of his. I know uh, he did this film called uh, the, Tree of Lo the Tree of Life. And he directed a film called The Thin Red Line uh, back in 1999. But this is a film that uh, was shown last night on uh, Turner Classic Movies. And I decided to watch it. Because on uh, Turner Classic Movies, like how during like the commercial breaks, they show the uh, the trailer to uh, their films, like when uh, the film is going to air uh, the day, you know, like if it's like on a Friday at like this date, you know, they give the film at that time. So uh, they played the trailer for uh, this film. And 
after the trailer was done, I was interested in uh, seeing this. But watched the film last night as it came on, and I thought this was a very good movie. Though it was very well directed by Terrence Malick. Very good looking film on how it was shot. And I thought the acting from Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek's characters were very good. Had a good story. Basically what the film is about is it takes place in 1959. And Kit Carruthers, who is played by Martin Sheen, he's a garbage collector. He's also a very troubled greaser who resembles uh, the late great actor James Dean. So he ends up meeting this uh, girl, Holly Sargis, who is played by Sissy Spacek, and they end up quickly falling in love. Sissy Spacek's character also uh, narrates uh, through the film, and her character has, you know, has a father who is played by Warren Notes, and their relationship is very strained. We find out that her mother end up dying of pneumonia. And so while uh, Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek's characters end up falling in love, War Notes ends up disapproving of Sissy Spacek uh, dating uh, Martin Sheen's character. And there's a scene where uh, War Notes' character, who is Sissy Spacek's father, ends up killing uh, her dog as punishment because of her being with the Martin Sheen's character because of the age difference. You know, Martin Sheen's character is 25. Sissy Spacek is, you know, 15. Her character is 15 years old. So 10 year age difference. So because of uh, Warren Oates disapproving of Sissy Spacek, you know, dating uh, Martin Sheen, Martin Sheen is like to Sissy Spacek, oh, why don't you come with me? So Warren Oates ends up threatening to call the police on Martin Sheen's character. So Martin Sheen end up shooting uh, Warren Oates' character. And after that, uh, Sissy Spacek and Martin Sheen's characters end up heading for the Badlands of Montana. You know, before they end up, you know, heading there, they end up burning down uh, Sissy Spacek's uh, house. So pretty much that was basically uh, what the plot to the film is about. And it shows... You know them. You know they're building the tree house. They have to, uh, you know, fish and steal chickens for food. And there's also a scene where uh, these bounty hunters uh, come after uh, Martin Sheen and Sissy Basics characters. And Martin Sheen ends up shooting the uh, three guys in the back. You know, Martin Sheen ends up ends up shooting them dead. So, pretty much. You know, that's basically what happens in the film. But I thought this was a very good film. I said with a good story. Uh, The script uh, was, you know, very good by Terrence Malick. You know, really uh, like Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek uh, in the film. And the film is PG. The film is rated PG. And I'm like, when I'm watching it, I'm like, really, this is a PG film? when it should be rated R because you have uh, Martin Sheen's character shooting uh, three guys in the back, killing them, they're bleeding. You know, I'm like, this is crazy for a PG film, even though it's 1973 was when the film was released. But it's very well shot uh, by Terrence Malick. You know, he has, you know, good shots of, uh, You know, there's a scene where Martin Sheen is walking and you see the moon in the background, you know, the clouds, you know, it's very well shot. Uh, The chase scene between uh, Martin Sheen and uh, these uh, sheriffs, you know, I thought was very well filmed. But overall, Badlands is a good movie. It's definitely worth watching. But the film is loosely based on a real-life murder spree that happened in 1958 uh, by Charles Starkweather and his girlfriend, Carol Ann Fugate. I think that's how you pronounce uh, her name. And also, I forgot to mention, we have very young Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez in the film. 
And it's in the scene where our Sissy Spacek's character, Holly, is looking out the window. And she sees these two young boys under a lamppost. Both of those boys were Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen. You know, very young in their, uh, in their prime. But when it was released, uh, Warner Brothers purchased and distributed the film for just under $1 million. They initially previewed the film on a double bill with the Mel Brooks comedy Blazing Saddles, which resulted in a very negative response from uh, the audience. So the production team of the film was forced to book uh, the film into theaters to demonstrate that, oh, well, this film could make money. So that's what uh, they had to do. The film has a 97% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and an average score of 8.9. So, uh, it was also the uh, closing feature film at the 1973 New York Film Festival, which uh, overshadowed uh, Mean Streets, which was directed by Martin Scorsese. So, but Badlands, very good movie. Definitely uh, worth watching. Good performances from Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. And like I said, very well shot. Cinematography was great. But anyways, that's it for my review of Badlands. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.